Boosting Teaching Tasks and Student Learning with ChatGPT. Let's take a quick look at ChatGPT in AI. To include what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is that artificial intelligence that is trained to understand and generate human-like language. There are many additional tools that use AI outside of ChatGPT to include ones for writing, productivity, images, videos, resume builders, presentations, and more. ChatGPT and idea generation. ChatGPT can be a very useful tool in brainstorming in any type of setting. As an AI language model, it can generate ideas and responses that are diverse, wide-ranging, which can be helpful to an instructor who is looking for inspiration in their teaching or research materials. ChatGPT can generate ideas across a broad range of subject areas. It can be used to explore new or unconventional ideas that may not have been considered before. ChatGPT can analyze and interpret large amounts of information quickly, which can save instructors time and effort in the research process. As an AI language model, ChatGPT can assist instructors in boosting ideas and curriculum development tasks in the following ways. Facilitating brainstorming sessions. ChatGPT can be an excellent tool to facilitate brainstorming sessions by generating relevant topics, purpose, potential, subtopics, and stimulate discussion and collaboration. Providing feedback and suggestions on course materials is another way ChatGPT can help instructors and offer suggestions based on the relevance, complexity, and alignment with their learning outcomes. ChatGPT can develop personalized learning resources such as articles, videos, and simulations tailored to specific learning objectives, student skill levels, and learning preferences. ChatGPT can recommend innovative teaching strategies based on emerging trends in education, best practices, and real-time student data. ChatGPT can analyze student data such as quiz scores, attendance, and engagement in order to provide instructors and trainers with insights into student learning and identify areas of improvement. Encouraging professional development is another way ChatGPT can help faculty enhance their pedagogical skills and stay up to date with emerging educational practices. Now let's look at how ChatGPT can be used in your curriculum development to include lesson planning. Similar to brainstorming, it can generate relevant topics, propose potential subtopics, and prompt discussion and collaboration. As stated earlier, ChatGPT can review faculty course materials such as syllabi, assignments, readings, and provide suggestions based on the relevance, complexity, and alignment with learning outcomes. ChatGPT can develop resources for study guides tailored to specific learning objectives, student skill levels, and learning preferences. It can also generate rubric criteria to help you create rubrics based on assignment information, learning objectives, and competencies. It can evaluate student knowledge and understanding with ChatGPT-generated quizzes and tests that are based on course objectives and learning content. Once again, ChatGPT can recommend innovative teaching assignment ideas based on emerging trends in education, best practices, and real-time data on student performance. All right, let's now move into ChatGPT and student assessments. You can have your students generate ideas by engaging in interactive conversations with the language model, prompting it with relevant questions or topics, and leveraging its vast knowledge base to gain insights, perspectives, and come up with creative solutions. You can have your students request to generate rough outlines based on their chosen topics and then have them refine it through iterative interactions, enabling them to gain and collect ideas. You can have your students prompt the model to refine research questions and do other activities or assignments related to research generation. Through these prompts, your students are able to explore ideas, generate hypotheses, and gain valuable insights enriching their research process. 
ChatGPT can explain concepts based on age groups. It will tailor its language and explanation to each specific age group's cognitive abilities, knowledge, and understanding level, ensuring communication and comprehension. For example, using simple language and examples for younger age groups and more complex language and detailed examples for older age groups ChatGPT can synthesize articles and readings by analyzing the articles based on provided input and prompts. ChatGPT can give students feedback on their work. It can analyze the content structure and coherence of the work provided and then compare it against the relevant criteria and guidelines. Constructive feedback can be generated, which may include suggestions for improvements, comments on strengths and weaknesses, and guidance on how to enhance the overall quality of work. Let's talk about how to format those GPT inquiries. When writing prompts for AI models, you want to make it easy, make it clear and concise, and avoid using complex language or jargon that may confuse the AI. You want to be specific, provide as much detail as possible about the topic. You want to use open-ended questions to encourage detailed and thoughtful responses from the AI generator. You want to consider the audience, think about who the audience is, and tailor your prompts accordingly. And then be creative. Use humor and personal anecdotes to make your prompts more engaging. So for example, here is one prompt. Write a discussion board on the social determinants of health. When I asked ChatGPT, I got this prompt back. It is a very simple discussion board prompt. But when I add more information here in this one, I added master's level students and promotes critical thinking. I have a more detailed prompt that has some more information and questions for students to ask that actually promote that critical thinking. In this next prompt, I added some information that talks about personalization. And you can see now we've added some response from ChatGPT that talks about reflecting on those personal ones and tying the content to those personal experiences. ChatGPT and Academic Integrity Using ChatGPT ethically and with academic integrity requires your students to be responsible, honest, and respectful. It is important to remember that this technology is a tool that can enhance learning, but it does not replace the value of critical thinking, research, and human interaction. It is important to start conversations with your students on the first day of class or in a training and let them know your expectations regarding the use of ChatGPT or any other AI models. You'll want to start by discussing the importance of ethical behavior Discuss why it is important to use ChatGPT ethically and with integrity and share those academic implications of using ChatGPT in your work. If you do not have a college-wide university policy, it might be beneficial for you to create your own classroom policy. You want to discuss the consequences of using ChatGPT, such as the possible loss of trust from others, future repercussions, and damage to your personal and professional reputations. You want to set clear expectations and guidelines using ChatGPT, such as which sources are acceptable to use, the level of collaboration that is permitted, and encourage your students to ask questions if they are unsure about the guidelines. You want to encourage originality. Teach students about the importance of originality in their work. Explain that it, plagiarism is not only unethical but also illegal. Provide resources and support. To help your students understand and adhere to those ethical guidelines, offer workshops, tutorials, and one-on-one -on -one support if needed. Model that ethical behavior yourself as an instructor. Encourage transparency and honesty and make it clear that you expect the same from your students. So what do you do if you think a student or someone has used AI? Well, there are some AI detection tools out on the market. Um, some might have been purchased by your college or maybe by your organization, and some are just free on the internet. 
you'll want to go ahead and use those with caution and think about false positives. So there are some tips here for addressing what could be a false positive in your classroom. Make sure you consider the possibility of false positives before you plan your approach for determining what happened and why you feel this student or a person has used ChatGPT. You'll want to assume positive intent. This is a new and unknown space and you want to give the students a benefit of the doubt going into your conversation with them. And you want to be open and honest and let them know that there may be false positives up front so that if it comes time to addressing a student, you can have an open and honest dialogue. Now that you know a little bit more about AI in the classroom, I hope you enjoy boosting your student and teaching tasks.